I'm back out in the woods again to do another hunting camera, trail camera review. The Cam Park TC07 trail cam or hunting cam, whichever way you'd like to describe it. Um, so this is the box it comes in and it's got super quick trigger time and there's such on it. Now I am going to confess that I have been in here, into the box um, and I've actually set the camera up with the app but we'll show you what's in the box so that's the box cover and we're going to nose the inside here so you've got your instruction manual um, with instructions in English blah 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 and it tells you all about the app and how to set things up but if you've used a trail cam before they're all pretty well much the much it's also this has got the solar power bank manual I'll come to the camera in a moment and I'll explain why before you start um, instructions tear off all the protective seals and things which we'll do now so when you get the camera all the sensors etc are all protected so we'll get rid of everything there oh isn't that something satisfying with that come to the camera in a moment right this is a USB charger cable transfer cable and it's one of those connectors that's a bit I wish it was a type C that would make life easier um, I have got some of these for other cameras I'm um, looking about but that's what that there is a cover which I'm not too sure what that's for at the moment um, we have got a mount sorry uh, show you this basically this can mount into here like this you can screw that onto a wall and then attach the camera on the thread on the bottom and there is also so that's a um, it's a holder for the this cover and there is also a strap to attach the camera to a tree so this can do 60 megapixel photos and record in 4k video at the moment this camera is naked because it probably looks in this state of play like a conventional trail cam but what's different with this one it has got its own solar panel so can you see the connectors here so this can be removed from the camera um, to charge up and there are some instructions the first time you remove this it's um, it's, it's quite tight to remove um, but once you've got the hang of it it's fa fairly simple um, how it all works and basically this will sit onto the top of the camera um, click into place now that's in we'll remove I will do in a minute I haven't got any fingernails but basically that's all on here there is the DC in on that USB cable you saw there if you want to charge this up manually and there's obviously a solar panel on the on the top of this and I'm determined here it, here it comes here it comes here it comes here it comes so this is instructions on how to remove that solar panel so I'll just close that up there's a, a rubber grommet on it nice thing with this it has got a bottom mount if you want to mount a tripod or a gorillapod or whatever onto the bottom of it which is obviously nice there is also a power in here which we're going to close up and overall it feels nice and sturdy and as ever if you're interested in this there are details with a link down there in the description below so there is a 
bracket on the back here if you want to put the camera onto a tree and this is quite nice this has got a bit of a grip um, for when you're mounting the camera it's got dual lens with night and day um, cameras on it so it's got like a night vision camera um, with a starlight um, night vision as, as, as they call it which is uh, which is really good okay so quite uh, robust and well made inside and this is what you'll see so first of all there's a thing this is a bit fiddly you can put your own batteries in here as a backup so these are some rechargeable batteries that I've got and that clips back on there fingers crossed the solar energy the solar panel here will be enough to power the camera and there is a further um, piece of protective film inside the um, inside here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing the camera around and we're going to fire this up and so you can see down inside um, what's going on here oh there is also worth mentioning your um, connector with a USB here to get your files out and there is a full-size SD card in here as well and it's a 4400 milliamp hour battery so let's um, let's have a look at this when we power it up and then um, we can show you into a little bit more detail on how it's all working but that's the TC07 from Campark and as ever link down there in the description below okay so that's us looking now at the camera and I can now look at two hands so one interesting thing this switch to power the camera on goes from right to left it's normally left to right which is um that's a bit strange but <laughs> I've no idea why that is so we take it over to the first position and we're greeted with a welcome screen and I don't know you can see the display here quite colorful we've got the date so as I'm recording this it's the first uh, first of the 10th it's come up to three o'clock in the afternoon and the battery is on 100% um, charge it showed other settings that we've got on here as well we can hit the menu button and we can choose our modes um, this is the PR interval the trigger time so we've got that at 30 seconds sensitivity the infrared LED um, so it's set to auto and we've got the side PRs, uh, PIRs on this is the image size for your photo resolution on the video this is the video setting and then you can see the green um, the green on there it's not too easy to see but we've got this um, shooting on uh, 4k 30 frames per second video length 30 seconds and we're recording audio this here is where you would change your um, date and time the time format 12 hours or 24 hours do we want a date stamp on it yes we do camera name we can change we can put a password on here we've got the Bluetooth turned on uh, the Wi-Fi password is here the Wi-Fi will also turn off after two minutes and bleeping sounds it's pretty well much the much if ever you've used a trail cam um, to be fair it's not really that difficult so what we'll do now is we'll load up the app on the phone so this is obviously I've got some indicator lights here that things are turned on and it's waiting for um it's waiting for a connection so let me just turn this off for a moment bye bye okay so the phone app that we're using is called hunting 4k pro so i'm just going to flip the trail camera on which is just here bluetooth turned on and this will just take a, a, a moment to scan and find and we've now connected there I've turned the wi-fi on the camera has now come up that we're setting 
Sid Hunter camera, there's a password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It will now come onto here. Hunting 4K camera will connect to that. It's going to get the IP address. Nice and simple. Back to the app. And here we are. We're in business. Do, 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 do. So let me just turn this around and you can see me recording here. So that's us all in on the camera, which I'll just put onto the forest floor at the moment. And from here, we can look at um, any photographs that have been taken. Uh, obviously, this is we're just setting this up. You've got all your settings are all in here. So these are your modes. So I've got this set up. See, lazy. I've got this set on video only. I'm not doing photographs. I'm really interested in video. But you can do photo, video, or photo and video. Your image sizes, your resolution. So this is replicating basically what we saw a little bit earlier. Um, I've got the camera called a TCO7 Neil. I can format the um, card here. I've got a 32 gig card in. And it's showing I've just got just short of um, 30 gigs of space left. So the good thing with this now is I'm getting a live view on the app for what the camera's seeing. So what we need to do now is set the camera up. Um, I've got some peanut butter and all being well, we're going to capture, fingers crossed, maybe a badger, probably some mice and maybe some other animals are here in the woods let's set the camera up okay so here we are we've got a log and we've got a big stack of peanut butter here's the camera here on a tripod i'm not putting it onto a tree mount and here on my phone i can see what the camera is seeing so what we need to do is we need to get the camera a little bit more I don't know if you can see there or not um, the windows couldn't come down a little bit um, come down a little bit there okay so it's not going to be very easy to see but there's the camera there's a peanut butter and you see here for just to prove it's working if you watch and then what we now need to do is turn the camera on um, and it'll get a countdown and it'll start to count down and um, we'll leave the camera out in the woods for uh, a while certainly overnight maybe a couple of nights and all being well we'll see what we can capture so let me set the okay, camera so there's our setup that's the camera on a tripod and if you also notice I've tried to put it where there's very little movement of leaves or branches and things like that so it's quite still here um, we've got a prolific amount of mice in the woods this time of year now the fields have been ploughed and um, we've had the dikes around have been dredged, uh, dredged I should say and things like that um, so I'm hoping we don't end up with just mice on here but all being well some other animals will get attracted to the peanut butter right keep following and um, as I say down there in the description below is a link to this camera and uh, where you can get it from and more technical spec if you need it go and check that out and we'll come back and um, have a look how camera we've gone out for two nights uh, which is here and as you remember here was loads of peanut butter and that's now all gone so um i'm going to load up the app on my phone and see whether that will connect to the uh to the camera and see if we've managed to catch anything all right so we're able to get these thumbnails so we've got a massive rat here's the badger um badger and badger again look the size of this rat is huge um mice this is daylight um, so again this is this is looking at the app so there's the camera there 
and then we can sort of download the picture here and have a quick look oh hello 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 badger right so we've definitely got some footage so what i'm going to do now i'm going to take the camera back we're going to download the footage um sorry it's uh, getting a bit windy download the footage onto um onto my laptop uh and edit it and let's bring in some clips so you can see what the camera has actually picked up
So the Camp Park TC07, what's the verdict? Well, over to you. You've seen the footage of what this captured. What do you think? I thought the quality was pretty good. It did exactly what we hoped it would do. We got the badgers, we got the mice, we got the massive rats. Um, quality really, really good. Camera, yeah, it's all right. There's a little solar panel on it, etc. Um, as we all know, and the box that it come in. So, if you are interested in more details on this, there is a link in the description down there below. It's a very windy day today as I'm recording this um, to, to get more information. Hope you found that um, useful. If you did do, it'd be brilliant if you want to smash the like button. And uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, little review of the, uh, the TC07.